Tony Khan got that ass whooped in the Tuesday Night War, and he's tweeting about it. At this point, he might send as many tweets as Dynamite has viewers. NXT sandblasted Dynamite 921,000 viewers to 609,000 as WWE continues to smell blood in the water. The last two collisions did their two worst numbers ever head to head against WWE and Dynamite's loss added more salt in the wound. Tony Khan isn't taking this lying down because he tweets the same way he pees, sitting down, like Larry David. You pee sitting down? Yeah. Have you ever tried it? No! What did you expect, the spoiled rich kid to handle adversity with grace? Tony Twitterfingers has been putting on an all-time performance. He's been pretty, pretty pissed. Probably tweeting with his pupils all dilated. He really thinks he's Crazy Eyes Killer. AEW is on the downswing and Tony Khan is falling apart. Even before the Tuesday Night War, when he saw the loss written on the wall, Tony Khan took to Twitter to use Curb Your Enthusiasm gifts to call WWE dicks for airing their product commercial free. So what did Tony Khan do in response? Announced that Dynamite is commercial free via tweet. Tony continued to make one of the funniest shows of all time unfunny by using a bald asshole meme to insult Triple H and Shawn Michaels. Brian, come get your boy. This guy needs to get off Twitter. Listen, I have heard nothing but Tony needs to get off his phone and stop tweeting. And you know who I've heard that from? I have Who's not that? heard that from fans. I have heard that from people in WWE, but you know who I've heard it the most from? People in AEW. They're like, can somebody get this guy off of his phone? Get him off Twitter. That's from people in AEW. Tony Khan had an all-out meltdown leading up to the Tuesday Night Wars, calling Triple H and Shawn Michaels bald assholes. Word to Larry David. Tony Twitterfingers and AEW Dynamite went down in flames. So let's give flowers to some of the greatest bald wrestlers ever. Honorable mentions go to Bobby Lashley, Triple H, and The Big Show. Number five is The Rock. He wasn't bald for any of his prime, but he did come back as a baldy to main event two record-breaking WrestleManias. Plus, he's The Rock. Kurt Angle wrestled most of his career bald and may be the greatest pound-for-pound -pound pro wrestler who ever lived. And that includes his ability to sports entertain. Goldberg was him in WCW, so explosive and so bald. Bald wrestlers start and end with Hulk Hogan. And if you want to cry racism, I get it. But keep that same energy for this balding asshole, who's so racist he plans to segregate the salt and pepper in his beard. And Stone Cold Steve Austin is a bald goat. Here's Tony Khan claiming Shawn Michaels will not be Booker of the Year this year. The only place Tony Khan has a shot at that meaningless award is from the brainwashed Wrestling Observer subscribers. Hell, he won that paper title last year and Die Hard Dave himself spoke out against it. Here's Tony Khan lashing out against Vince McMahon's sexual misconduct allegations. This is one of my favorites. Tony Khan, now dealing with the sixth stage of grief, moral victories, reported that Tuesday was the first time John Cena and The Undertaker were on his show with under a million viewers. <laughs> Tony Khan doesn't need Curb Your Enthusiasm to try to be funny. He just needs a keyboard and a little coke. No, no, that's not the... Okay, never mind. At this point, Tony Khan is rolling around in the weeds at the bottom of the bird app because he's no better than the people he's tweeting against. Tony Khan is the same message board bound blowhard as any garden variety troll like Bix or Robert. The only difference is his bank account. If Tony wasn't rich enough to afford a personal driver, he'd be riding that same short bus with him. Tony Khan is a billion dollar Nepo baby with a 10 cent temperament. He has the same behavioral issues as anybody who spends a majority of their time insulated on social media because if they spend too much time in the real world, they end up fearing for their lives. The only difference between Tony Khan and all these bottom feeding incels on Twitter is a couple billion dollars and a couple hundred pounds. Is that an inflation joke or a wage joke? I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> that wordplay though, right? AEW's honeymoon period is dead and gone. It's starting to feel more like Johnny Depp's marriage. Big stars leaving AEW became a pattern in 2023. It's not just Cody Rhodes anymore. Jade is gone and already feels like a bigger star in WWE. CM Punk was AEW's biggest draw, and not only did he flame out, but WWE is leaving him on red for now, just like Denise Handicap. There will be more departures in 2024. WWE is kicking ass in live events, while AEW can barely even move its legs like Wendy Wheelchair. It's an ice-cold product that just lost a national head-to-head -head war, and Tony Khan is helpless to stop it. So now he's trying to tweet his own narrative, and he just comes off looking like an out-of-touch autistic billionaire like the guy who owns this app. Shout out to the Spectrum. Tony Khan making an ass out of himself on Twitter has taken some attention away from AEW's anti-Semitism controversy after Juice Robinson mocked MJF 
with a roll of quarters fresh off of Israel's war with Hamas. Anybody who knows me knows I will never have a problem with pro wrestling using controversial angles or storyline. I'll always support the attempt, and this time is no different. Do your thing. But AEW's timing couldn't have been any worse, and now MJF has to go on a speaking tour because of it. When it rains, it pours, and it's raining tweets in Jacksonville right now. Never change Tony Twitter fingers. Check out this video about the Tuesday Night War and subscribe. Should Tony Khan delete his Twitter? Tell me in the comments.